Hey guys, okay, so uh, something a little bit different today. Um, I, in November, I signed up for a one month um, trial for a thing called Japan Crate. Now, for those of you that don't know, there's a lot of these crates going around. There's Loot Crate, um, there's Gamer Crate, and a few others I can't think of because big brain energy but the cool thing is is i finally got my japan crate now this is one of many crates you can get from japan of all places on earth and uh it's a monthly rolling subscription um i think it's like 30 35 pounds um per month and they will send you a whole like butt ton of goodies you know Japanese sweets, drinks, and all that sort of stuff. I signed up in November, therefore I got the Christmas version. Now, it did take nearly a month to arrive from its moment of shipping, but it's from Japan. So, I'll allow it, because that's going to take a while, and especially over Christmas period as well. They did say that people's crates may be arriving a little bit later than potentially we would have enjoyed. But it's here. I love it. I absolutely love it. That is so cool. And she's so cute. She's so cute. Kawaii. <laughs> no, I, I do. I, it's great. I really am impressed that it. I'm impressed it arrives in one piece and everything. It says I, did, I got the premium crate, obviously. Um, I'm not going to settle for less. And it says happy holidays, which is really nice. Uh, so let's dive straight in and let's see what we got. So sorry for absolutely destroying the mic. So the. the presentation of the box <laughs> without everything falling out it's kind of like this there's more in there than it there's more in here than you, you think but we're gonna go through each we're gonna go through each thing because um, I'm not entirely sure myself but they got a little pamphlet inside and it's like a menu I love it it's like a menu so you've got on this side I keep forgetting which hand is which you got mini original and then premium in the middle there and then on the, and then on the end uh you've got a uh, what's happening in japan uh at, in, at this time and then you've got a few phrases down here you can learn a bit of japanese i'll attempt them in a bit but uh let, let's 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 start let's dive straight in so the first thing on the menu is a uh, puku puku tai ichigo uh, experienced taiyaki or Japanese fish shaped dessert with this wafer snack. Ichigo, strawberry in brackets edition. It's made of crunchy wafers and has an airy strawberry flavored chocolate filling. That's this. This looks great. This looks like the wafer biscuits that you used to get from your grandparents because no one else except your grandparents ever had them. Well, at least mine anyway, but that looks cool. Um, Next is a Christmas boot chocolate daifuku. Uh, oh, uh, I saw that somewhere. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Is this it? Okay, okay, so they've, all right, so it, it, it's it's one, it's one of, uh, it, they've put, the, they've used a picture of the, uh, the big packet, I think, yeah, the, yeah, they used a picture of the big packet, but you only get one, it's fair enough, um, or you may get one or two, but th there is a lot here, so you might think, well, that one, well, that's kind of stingy, well, I'm only one person, I, but you know, I, of course I want to share, um, so the next thing is maple hotcakes, um, Oh, sorry. Yeah, so I didn't really explain what that last one was. A puffy and pillowy like cloud. This marshmallow is also filled with a melted chocolate that's sure to satisfy your sweet tooth craving. It's also in special edition packaging just for the holidays. That is true. That is true. We've got a Santa and a Rudolph on there. Uh, the next thing is a maple hot cake. Uh, a JC favorite, so Japan crate favorite, is back for the cooler seasons. This Doriaki snack is a type of Japanese confection. Traditionally filled with an unko, a red bean filling, 
between two small pancake-like patties. This one in particular contains a delicious maple syrup cream in the center that's perfect for the holiday season. And it, they kind of and they kind of look like pancakes too. But like they actually look like what they're supposed to be. And they say hot cake on it. Love it. That's so cool. I love how like all the character like every food has like a character is a character. I love it. Uh, Christmas pizza corn snack. Uh, so I'm guessing these are like crisps. Uh, it comes in a long bag like this. Uh, and and it probably tastes like pizza, I guess. Uh, this pizza flavored corn snack is crispy and delicious in every bite. Munch and crunch on this snack during the holidays with its festive packaging. Nice. And apple gum, which is one apple, one piece of apple gum. Uh, this is this this is a two-in-one apple flavored candy. The hard candy outside contains a gum-like center that upon chewing pops out as a surprise for double fun. <laughs> That's going to be cool. I, th that reminds me a lot of um, other sweets we used to have over here, but I don't remember what they were, what they were called. Um, or was it the screwball? It might have been a screwball. It's like an ice cream, and at the bottom there's like a bubble gum. But that so that that would be all you would get in the mini box, and I. Current, I don't currently know what the price of that is, but I will put it here. Um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how good my editing skills are. So then we've got the original. So this is what would come in the original box. Uh, you would get smoky pretz, smoky pretz, smoked flea, fleas, cheese flavor, or fleas chaver, whatever you uh, think. So they're, they're basically like Pocky, but they're savory. Uh, thinner and crisper than usual pretz. This addition is the fanciest we've ever seen with cheese kneaded into the biscuit and smoked with cherry blossom wood. Enjoy this when you're in the mood for a savory snack. I think I will. Love my savory snack. Uh, let's make with Curious George handmade pudding. So I've actually looked this up and you actually have to make this this is this is a make it yourself pudding um the instructions are, are on the back although as you can see uh i might not be able to decipher it because but the good thing is is that there's instruct excuse me there's instructions actually on the paper as well on how to make top, in that top corner there there's, there's instructions in english how to make it so they've taken care of everything they didn't just put this in there and be like oh well yeah we'll just let them figure out you know these uh semi-cryptic instructions uh, but i look forward to that uh that is a fun diy uh, to make a pudding in the face of curious george with a rich caramel sauce so i look forward to that strawberry and milk cream cake now this does look good i have to admit this this is like mr kipling levels of uh of treats uh this strawberry and milk cream cake is the perfect on the go quick dessert to nibble on the middle the mini sponge cake is filled with a strawberry cream and coated with a yummy cream coating that does look good right that looks good that looks good to me that looks good uh then a, a petite donut biscuit christmas version these are the cutest donut biscuits we've ever seen. To top it off, they're in a holiday packaging to keep things festive. Pair with your favourite hot tea for a quick sugary bite. It's, it's one, but it looks like a donut. Or at least it, it should. It should look like a donut. So there is that as well. And the last thing that you would get in the original as well is Pero Stick Strawberry. Uh, these stick biscuits are dipped in a yummy strawberry cream in a convenient cup. Take this on the go while you're out and about. So it's it's basically a uh, uh, what do we what did we call them over here were they, were they dip dip dabs or something? But we have to say we have this, we have the similar thing over here except ours are mostly chocolate, whereas this is like a strawberry cream. It looks really good. I'll enjoy that one too. Uh, so now this is so everything that's left in here is what you get because you ordered the premium box. So everything that's left and let me tell you something. There's some good stuff in here, all right? So the first, well, I mean, apart from this, I guess. You might you might say this is a bit of a letdown, but the first thing is Super Mario gum. Legit Super Mario gum as well. Like, n none of the knockoff stuff. Oh, not really in focus, but like, yeah. But 
it's uh yeah it's super mario gum i don't even know what flavor it is um it doesn't tell me it uh, the mystery gum <laughs> we'll, we'll find out what flavor it is uh when i when i eat some uh let's see uh a christmas yachi uh this looks kind of interesting the perfect nibble is in a holiday christmas packing which one did you receive uh, i received this one the pink one It's a biscuit <laughs> with a sock, a stocking on it. Uh, that's the one I got. Uh, grape gummies. Now these these sound great because uh, I, I do I do like grape flavored uh, sweets. Um, all the sweetness of grapes in this pack of chewy, wonderful gummies. You won't be able to stop at just one. Or I hope not. <laughs> I love the little crazy characters they have. He's a conductor of, of, of an orchestra or something, but he's a, he's apparently made of grapes. Uh, chocolate hit flakes. Um, that's this. This chocolate confectionery contains a rice puff with an oh sorry I had a sneeze there. I was trying to control it. Uh, a rice puff. With an ultra crispy texture. Pair with a cup of tea or milk for a perfect and sweet ending to a long day. That sounds alright. That's interesting. It's a rice puff. But yeah. There we go. That's kind of cool, right? I mean, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, but we'll see. Uh, Black Thunder Mini Bar Christmas. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, yikes. This is a big one. Look at this. Enjoy and share one of Japan's most popular chocolate candy bars, Black Thunder, this holiday season. They're in this seasonally themed share pack just for the holidays. The candy bar contains a cocoa flavored cookie bar mixed with Japanese style rice puffs and it's coated with a final layer of chocolate. It's a big bag too, so it's got to be more than more than one in here. I think there's ten. Is it ten percent? I don't know. Ten percent, some ten percent, ten percent or something. But it looks great, and this always, this always like the packaging. The, the, they know how to. I mean, look, how can their packaging be ignored? And that's why I end up buying so much stuff when I go to the 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 die show. Uh, right, we got Christmas Umaibo chocolate. Umaibo is a small puffed cylindrical corn snack that is very popular in Japan. This edition is coated in a yummy chocolate and is special and is in special packaging. So a lot of it is they, they keep bigging up the special packaging. Kind of looks like Dorimon. Um, but yeah, they keep bigging up the special packaging. It's like it's, it's Christmas, guys. Yeah, we appreciate it, but yeah. I mean that that that's that sounds like those Milky Way wafers or whatever they were called, you know. Um, right now, this is this is this is the bit I enjoy the drink. So I've known for a very long time that drinks from Korea and Japan are very eclectic. Their flavors are very interesting. Um, and they like to really experiment. Uh, Pepsi Blue, for example, is just fantastic. It's like Nuka Cola. Um, before Nuka Cola was a thing. Same. Uh, this one is an original Pepsi Cola from Japan, and it's Caramel Punch. Now, caramel's fine, and punch is fine, but it says, for a limited time in just Fall and winter, so autumn and winter. Uh, Pepsi in Japan has released a special edition caramel punch Pepsi that combines the tasty Japan Cola formula, Japan Cola Pepsi formula with a sweet caramel toffee flavor. The two blend so well and have a yummy aroma. Let us know how you like it. Okay, 
Uh, this is considered a bonus. And it looks amazing. And it sounds amazing. A Kit Kat cheesecake. I don't know what I, I don't know how to feel about it, but it's got it's got white chocolate in the corner here, which I'm looking forward to, and this just looks amazing. Um, and it just it oh I I can't wait for this. I cannot wait for this. It says something about a microwave or something. I'm not I'm not even quite sure. I think it might even be like a sort of make your own cheesecake, but we'll see. So it says one of Nestle Japan's newest releases of Kit Kats is here. Cheesecake edition. Cheesecake has been trending popular in Japan and each bar has cheese powder and salt in the... Oh, okay. So it's Kit Kat that's cheesecake flavored. It's not a cheesecake flavored. It's not a Kit Kat flavored cheesecake. Wait, you know what I mean? Anyway, so yeah. Yeah, that, so that, that's pretty much it. That is everything that came in my premium Japan crate. And you know what? I know that I'm going to enjoy every single item that has come in this crate. I do not feel like I've wasted my money. I don't feel anything like that. I used to be subscribed to Loot Crate. And it was very hit and miss. And even then, I remember, I remember specifically there was one time... Uh, whatever it was was I think it might have been near the Halloween season and it was just full of stuff I didn't want I had no interest in keeping and it either ended up on eBay or gifted to friends and I'll tell you what it was yeah it was just a bit pointless and I did feel like I had wasted my money there but this has been just fantastic i i think i'm gonna I'll, I'll keep my subscription for now until they send me one that is that disappoints me <laughs> until they send me one that disappoints me i think i'll i'll keep i'll keep it because it's good fun it's fun too to have a look at all these these these, these different treats and stuff um uh, from japan um but yeah, that's it. That that is my that is my J premium Japan crate. Just move that out there so I don't uh, uh, knock it again. I'm very pleased with that. That was a very good. That was well worth my time and money. It was good waiting for as well. I can't wait to make the uh, the curious George pudding and and you know try the cheesecake flavored Kit Kat. Uh, and I'll let you all I'll let you all know what it was like. Um, I mean, they've got various other promotions on the uh, on here. The, the Sugoi crate is it's it's just candy, really, um, which I suppose is <laughs> like kind of like what I got. Um, but there's also there's all kinds of variations on it um, that you can get. Ones that have uh, toys. Uh, there's ones that have. Uh, kit, uh, like uh, cooking uh, foods, oils, and uh, condiments. Oh, th you know they've got they've got variable um, crates and stuff. But well done, Japan crate. You get a you get a double thumbs up from me. That was that was that's a good crate. That's a good crate right there. I don't I don't I feel I, it feels good. It feels good, man. And that's it. I am going to go and enjoy my snacks. So thank you for tuning in. It's very rare I do a YouTube video. But it's an unboxing, so I thought it would be worth it. Anyway, that's what you get in a Japan crate. Go check it out. Link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. See you.